Hey there, welcome to another radio video and this is another tutorial video on the ICOM ICR20 to explain uh, tuning steps, how to change your tuning step and a uh, basic little guide on where and how and when do we change the tuning steps. Now, in the spectrum of radio communications from this, this receiver goes very wide from 100 kilohertz up to the way high 3.3 gigahertz uh, the steps used on different communications are not all the same and that is something in itself that's kind of difficult to figure out at first but if you look on the internet type in uh, Google uh, tuning steps um, you know just put VHF UHF tuning steps and um, you'll probably have charts showing you where to use the different steps on the receiver but sometimes you might want to uh, change that step because the type of signal you want to listen to isn't in that step range for example if I listen to satellites on 150 megahertz where I'll have the um, Cosmos navigation satellites, the Russian lower orbit satellites. Um, I don't want to have the regular 5 kilohertz steps that the scanner will give me in that range. I'll change it for 1 kilohertz or even maybe lower, 100, 100 hertz or 10 hertz. And also it's mode dependent. If you're listening to a single sideband signal, you'll want it in a small tuning step to adjust uh, because that signal needs a very small tuning step to really adjust well. So uh, it's kind of you know something you'll learn with time but you not got to know how to change that tuning step when you need to. So how do you do that? Well you simply have that nice little button here at the bottom the number 9 and on top it says TS what does TS mean? It means tuning step. So what you do is you press and hold number 9 until you see in the display it says set tuning step and here it says 25 kilohertz. 25 kilohertz is the basic tuning step of the airband for example for listening to uh, any uh, airplanes because all channels are spaced 25 kilohertz in the airband to avoid interference. Now once you've uh, chosen that step that you want to use you just press the quick press on the 9 and it's entered in the radio. Now let's go to UHF band. I'll go into 440 dot zero zero zero. I want this band to have a tuning step of five kilohertz for some reason. What do I do? All I have to do is press and hold nine. The upper right dial button will let me choose. You can see if I go counterclockwise it goes down up to 10 hertz or if I go clockwise it'll go up and the maximum tuning step is 100 kilohertz in this case. Let's put it to the regular tuning step of UHF uh, amateur radio band which is 12.5 kilohertz on UHF. So well, I'll tune down with the right dial button, I'll go counterclockwise in this case because it was higher up to 12.5. Once it's set all I have to do is press quick press on the 9 and it's entered and if I uh, turn the right dial button to actually tune the radio you see that it jumps at 12.5 kilohertz steps so you'll know that it's actually working because while you're tuning manually you'll see that the steps are going to be the ones that you've chosen an example if I put it at the very low end of a 10 hertz I press 9 hold I'll go to 10 hertz and then I'll press tuning step and you see a little set of zeros that had was added to the frequency here and if I tune you can see that only the little set here is changing and now I'm tuning in a very precise 10 hertz steps that's why there's an added smaller number here on the upper right so you can tune around now 
I've decided nah, that's not what I want. I want to go back to 12.5 kilohertz. Well, I'll do nine old. Take the right dial button and change it back to 12.5 kilohertz. And a quick press on the number nine again. And here I am in 12.5 kilohertz steps. So that's all you have to do to change the step size in the ICOM ICR20. Now, a basic, very, very basic quick guide that I would give you on that is that usually what you'll want is uh, having the step size when you're in AM mode, for example, and listening to shortwave broadcast or maybe the uh, AM medium wave radio band. You might set the step at 5 kilohertz, which would be pretty okay in most cases. If you're listening to utility signals uh, or amateur radio signals in the short wave band uh, below 30 megahertz, well, you might set it to uh, 10 or 100 hertz because these signals are in single sideband most of the time. So that mode will usually uh, use smaller steps. You'll want uh, 100 or 10 uh, hertz depending on what you're using. Uh, in the VHF range, I would um, basically say it's not true, but generally from 30 megahertz up to about 200 megahertz, uh, you'll have steps of 5 kilohertz in most cases. There are exceptions. Uh, new band plans are actually giving 12.5 kilohertz spaces on some frequencies in this 160 uh, megahertz range. But overall, um, even if you're not in the right space, a 5 kilohertz um, tuning step, most of the time you won't miss out on most signals because you'll always be at least very close to the native frequency you should listen to. UHF, most of the UHF comms will require 12.5 kilohertz steps instead of 5, so step is a little bigger. But that is very, very general. What I'm saying here is not official. It's general usage. But with time, you'll know when you have to use 5 or 12.5 or 1 or whatever step that you need on the bands. Uh, it all depended on what you want to listen to. And of course, usage in that range that I just told you, 5 kilohertz on the VHF, for example, there's exceptions, you know, uh, 160 megahertz, there are some 12.5 kilohertz there. Um, you have the air band from 108 to 136 kilohertz. That is basically 25 kilohertz steps to avoid interference. So, and some 200 megahertz frequency ranges also that uh, use the air band in the 250, 260, 300 megahertz band uh, where you'll have military communications and also the uh, some communications for airplanes uh, also require 25 kilohertz steps. So it depends on what you will listen to. Keep in mind, if you're not sure is it 12.5 or 25, remember one thing, 12.5 kilohertz times 2 is 25. So even if you go through those bands in 12.5 kilohertz steps, you're still not going to miss out on any signals. And even the 5 kilohertz steps, it's just going to take a little longer to scan because the steps are smaller but you'll have uh, 5 times 5 is 25 so you won't miss out on any signals either. Uh, where you can miss out on signals is if your tuning step that you're using is too big. If I put my tuning step for example at 100 kilohertz, uh, well here I'm gonna jump over a lot of signals that I just won't hear because the step is too big. So you gotta be careful not to put too high of a step because in between these steps, you'll miss out on the signals that are there. You know, if I press here and I just manually tune, you see that I go from 440 to 440.1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But if there's something on 440.050, I, I jumped over it. I'll never hear it with a tuning step that's 100 kilohertz. That's why you don't want to put it at 100 kilohertz either, because you're going to miss out, jump over signals. So this was a quick tutorial on tuning steps and how to set them on your ICOM ICR20 receiver. If you have any 
questions on what I've just said, let us know. It's always, uh, I'm there for that, and I'll be really happy to actually answer any questions you might have. And if you have any um, questions on anything else, let us know. Keep in mind there are no stupid questions. Never. You don't understand something, you just don't understand it. And that's it. And I'll try to put lots of videos on this radio and many other radios explaining how to use them. Because I think um, it's a great resource to see it by yourself not only read it in a manual. So thanks for watching. If you want to keep in touch with our channel, I'll click the subscribe button at the top of the screen. You'll be informed of the videos we put online. And of course, if you have any, um, any questions, let us know. So thanks for watching, 73s.